Abandoned uranium mines have been affecting the Navajo Nation since 1994. 30 million tons of uranium ore were extracted from Navajo lands, leaving people feeling the effects of uranium contamination. Allison Snell took a trip to Cove, Arizona to find out more what they're doing now. My dad uh, had cancer, stomach cancer. I guess he, he worked in the uranium mine. Philip Ati grew up near Cove, Arizona, a small town on the Navajo Nation. Population, just over 400. The area is also home to about 30 different abandoned uranium mines. Many of the mines started operations in the 1940s and provided more than 30,000 tons of ore containing uranium until the mines shut down two decades later. According to the United States Environmental Protection Agency, being in contact with higher levels of uranium can be harmful to your health. You don't see the impact right now. It's 30 years down the road. And a lot of them had stories of their parents or grandparents getting cancer. The EPA is working to fix that. Concerns is getting the mines cleaned up. Cleaning up the mines is more than just a one-person job. The EPA, along with the Navajo Nation and Clawson Excavating, are working to get rid of the contamination. Determine the magnitude of contamination and rank them at which has the highest risk to human health and the environment. The first step was building a road that provided access to the mines. This was one of, one of the main mining roads that took the miners up and brought the material back and the condition of the road it didn't have any drainage couldn't generally couldn't get through with even jeeps so with this road improvement it's allowing us to bring more teams up and to actually work on these mines more efficiently and get to clean up um, sooner the epa is working with the navajo nation and helping to provide jobs so our goal as much as possible is to engage navajo workers to assist us with the cleanup. Once they determine the amount of contamination, they can move to the next step. The next phase of our process is to, to make a determination of how to clean it up. This project for Navajo husband and wife team of Clawson Excavating hits close to home. I tell people she's the brains of the operation. I'm just the guy that goes out and gets dirty. Liz, Clawson manager, grew up in this home near the mines, and she says she can sympathize with those affected. She's worked to provide a different life for herself and those she employs. One of the things that my mom instilled in me was uh, education. She always encouraged us to um, get an education, and she knew that was the way out of poverty. I never went to trucking school. I never went to a heavy equipment school. I learned it all on the job. And the job is a big one, cleaning up the mess from America's nuclear race and restoring this land to the Navajo people. I love America and I believe it's the land of opportunity as long as you're hardworking.